For those that do not know, I am Chelsea Greider. I'm the events planner with the Gazette. I am so excited to be back in the kitchen making food craving memories. Guys, we want to thank our sponsors, Hills Bank and Iowa Pork Producers for getting behind this program. We also want to thank our location partner, Plum Supply, for getting back in these beautiful kitchens. We also want to thank our videographer partner, TKM Co. We could not do this program without them. Guys, we're going to be making this awesome pork recipe this week, and we're going to be making cheesy Italian grinder dip. Yes, it sounds as good as it tastes. We are so excited to get back and be making this food. I'm gonna welcome our guest into this kitchen. I wanna welcome Carol with the Freedom Festival and her two boys, Dawson and Easton. Come on in, team. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Awesome, I love it. We're gonna make all the cheesy goodness today, right? Yep. Awesome. All right, guys, well, we're gonna get them prepped and ready to go. Check out a quick message from our sponsor, Iowa Park Producers. We want to leave a legacy. We want to leave our environment every bit as good as it was when we were handed the opportunity to farm this ground. We want to leave this place better, not only for the people we are and the people in our family, but we want to leave this land better. My name is Lisa Rasmussen and I'm an Iowa pig farmer. We care about Iowa too. All right, guys, welcome back to Kids Gazette Cooking Series. We are making cheesy Italian grinder dip. All right, guys, you ready to start mixing together? Yeah, yeah. awesome. Got it. Okay, well, let's walk through what you guys got in front of you. Boys, you guys want to hold up some of the ingredients? Yeah. Awesome. So we have parsley. Parsley. Good job. You got a mix of. We gotta have a. We have a mix of spices. Spices. What kind of spices do you think are in there? Um. I think like garlic like, salt. Garlic salt. Some Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. And some red some flakes. Red flakes. Good job. Here we got um, sour cream. Love it. Looks delicious. We got Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> awesome. We have four cups of pizza mix. Awesome. And one green bell pepper love it what's the main ingredient in this guys what are we missing right in front of us cheese <laughs> well yes there is cheese i love it <laughs> the italian mild sausage right yep awesome that is awesome guys well thank you for walking through those um great um ingredients guys coming across your screen right now you're gonna be seeing the digital recipe guard and you're also gonna be seeing the shopping list as well so make sure to print those off add those into your recipe books all those great things this one you're gonna want to keep because it is so so delicious all right guys well let's start baking the base mixture and let's start cutting up the pepper which one of you guys want to start cutting up the pepper awesome so guys, we're gonna be using a half of this pepper only. So you guys can cut it in half, we'll get all the seeds out, do all those great things, and we'll sit half to the side, and then we'll cut up, and we'll dice that up to how, however small you wanna do that. Cool? Awesome. Reminder, guys, to have parental supervision with you as you are cutting up anything with a knife, anything like that, like Carol is with her boys right now, doing this great, um, awesome recipe that we're making. And then I'll only use half, right? Take out the yep. seeds. Good job. So Carol, tell me what you guys are doing for the Freedom Festival. Yeah, so June is huge. June, July, obviously the Freedom Festival. We're the two, two and a half weeks leading up to the 4th of July for the city of Cedar Rapids and all of the surrounding communities, of course. Um, you know, 2020 was a hard year for us. So what we're focusing on are things that we can do this year, right? Yep. Um, safety is key for us. Yep, yep, nice job. And so um, truly just head to our website, freedomfestival.com. That's gonna be the most up-to-date um, calendar of events. We're bringing back uh, fan favorites, of course. We've got the Freedom Festival Balloon Glow. We've got Tribute to Heroes. We're gonna be, yeah, dice it up, nice job. Um, we are actually going to be pre presenting some new events this year, which we are very excited. If you drive around downtown Cedar Rapids, June, July, August, you can look up at the light poles and you can see um, military tribute banners. We've got 76 uh, veterans that have been nominated and will be honored on those, um, on those light poles around downtown Cedar Rapids. Really excited to launch that this year. Well, we're so excited for Freedom Festival to be back and get back to some type of normal. Something. Something normal, right? <laughs> that yes. would be really nice. Yes, I would agree with that. That. Now, boys, I hear you guys are in sports, right? This summer. Yep. So yeah. What you guys, sports. So what are you guys doing? Well, um, um, later today, um, me and 
Easton are going to both have a two-hour kind of baseball practice thing. Cool. I love it. That looks great. Since baseball started, Mom's taxiing is back in action <laughs> this year. It's, it's had a year off, okay, so we're, we're gonna put That's that probably right in that bowl, yeah? Yep. yep, so you guys are good. Yep, so next thing, guys, we're gonna move over. The really cool thing, guys, about this recipe is that we get to use a cast iron skillet because we're gonna make it, it's kind of like a one-pot recipe. So we're gonna make everything on the stovetop and then we're gonna bake it in the oven. Sound good? Yeah. All right, well, let's head over to the stovetop and let's start making this Italian mild sausage. How much do you guys cook at home? Do you like to cook or do you like to bake? I feel like there's cook. two, cook, cook, you much rather cook than We're bake. not really the baking family. It's all about, yeah, you have cheese, you have meat, we're, <laughs> we're yeah. salt, we're, we're gold. gold. Cheese and meat, we're good, yeah. I love it, <laughs> I love it, guys. So, okay, now you gotta tell me, what's your favorite food? Mom, mom I don't know, it's either pizza or mac and cheese. Oh, I mean, you can't go wrong with pizza. Now, favorite pizza is a, is a good question. Cheese, sausage, pepperoni, pineapple does not belong on pizza. Oh, man. I think, that, I think that's a test though. My favorite is Canadian bacon pineapple. Oh. Okay, get that pork and get that sweet and that savory. Oh, love it. Well, I mean, I like both cheese and sausage because before I thought sausage was, spice, was spicy, which I do not like spice. Nope, totally. <laughs> I get you. I do. I yeah, love it. Yeah, but then when I actually full on tasted it, it was actually pretty good. And it's not bad, is it? Now it's one of my favorites. Now yeah. sausage pizza is his favorite. Hey, I like it. Getting that pork in there, that's not a bad thing. I like it. Now I have to ask, and I feel like I have, a, I have an answer to this question already, just knowing you guys, who is the first taste tester of the family? If Me. <laughs> so the growing boy that yes, exactly. eats us out of house and home. Unless it's mac and cheese. That's what Unless it's mac and cheese. <laughs> then it's Dawson, yeah. yeah. Once the base mixture gets mixed, we're actually gonna add in the peppers. Do you wanna take that over to brother? Awesome. So guys, what is your favorite thing about cooking as a family? Um, the I food. don't know actually, I mean just the like, food. The food. probably just like, once you make it, once you've worked hard, it's, it, it the work pays off. It does, it does, you get to eat it at the end, right? Yeah. It's a winner. That's you my favorite part. can't beat that. So Carol, how many years have you been with the Freedom Festival? Yeah, I actually started with the Freedom Festival, ironically, in 2020. Oh! <laughs> right before, um, Everything shut down, unfortunately. Um, but the festival has been around for 38 years. This is our 38th anniversary um, in 2021. And um, yeah, I do events and marketing. Yeah. And it's been a very, it's a challenge, pro, you know, programming a festival in a pandemic. Yes. Um, but it's been also kind of good for our board of directors because we say, well, what can we focus on? What can we do this year, right? How can we do things safely? How can we take things that we've done in the past and um, and, and do them this year. Yeah. So for example, you know, we do a lot of family programming, right? Yeah. Um, we really focus on our family um, affordable activities. Um, instead of doing some of the in-person things that we've done for the families in the past, this year we're doing um, a kids activity take home box. Awesome. And so we're gonna be creating a big community artwork mural that will be on display during the festival. So ultimately what we're doing is asking people to pick up this box sponsored by Surgery Center. And um, in that will be an art project um, courtesy of Eastern Iowa Arts Academy. And so you get to make your own printed um, art project. And then you mail that project to us and then we'll put that all together on a mural that you'll be able to see this year. So awesome. some things that you can do home safely, but then still um, get that sense of community patriotism and, and just, um, you know, yeah, Freedom Festival. Oh, exactly. Um, now do we, for Freedom Festival, right, generally you have to like pick up a button, do all those great things. So that, is that still normal this still year? Still thing, okay, yes. Perfect. Our buttons, we have so many people that love to collect those buttons yes. and 2021 is no exception. Yes. Um, we even had buttons last year that people were able to purchase. Um, but yeah, so you can purchase those at Hy-Vee or Casey's stores perfect. here in Cedar Rapids, um, Marion area. Um, and they're $5 again. So oh, very affordable again, $5. That also gets you um, the button and then coupons from uh, hy V. And they also do have a, on that coupon book, it is a purchase $75, you get a $5 coupon back. So it's basically a free button, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so that is uh, definitely a thing. Again, this year they're on sale now. And then also just a fun little added perk is we've partnered with Dietz. 
the mobile app. So if you download the Deets app, there's gonna be places that you can go, show your Freedom Festival button, and you're gonna be able to get um, free appetizers, drinks, coupons, those kinds of perks with that Freedom Festival so button. Love yep. it. <laughs> that $5 button is definitely worth it. So it's gonna definitely be go great. pick those up, guys. All right, guys, well, let's start making that cheesy based mixture next. Well, one thing we need to do is we need to reserve a half a cup of your meat mixture to the side. So mom, if you wanna scoop out a half a cup and we'll set that to the side, that is for your toppings. Once it's done, it's gonna be delicious. All right, perfect. All right, which one of you guys wants to put in the one and a half cups of sour cream in your large mixing bowl? Easton. Perfect. Looks fantastic. Who does not love sour cream? <laughs> so guys, reminder that is one and a half cups of sour cream that you're gonna pour in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the four cups of pizza blend cheese. So all of it? All of it, all the good things. Here we go. <laughs> there, so now we mix. Perfect, now you can start mixing it together. All the cheese. Cream. Cheese and sour cream. Does brother, do you mind if brother pours in the other cheese as you're mixing? All right. So remind you guys, this is a, that is a Parmesan blend of cheeses. And they're gonna keep mixing that all together so it's all combined. Oh, well, <laughs> I was trying to be professional. You're doing a great job. This is looking great, guys. The next thing you guys can do is you're gonna pour in all of your seasonings. So we have a mixture of garlic salt, red pepper flakes, and we also have Italian seasoning. Perfect, yeah. now mix it all together. It's gonna give it great flavor, other than the cheese. <laughs> and sour cream. Sour cream. Nope, you're actually gonna leave that right now. And then it actually, if you guys want to, you guys are gonna take that mixture and you're gonna pour it over top of your meat mixture right in that cast iron skillet. That is the really cool thing, guys, about the cast iron skillet, is that you get to pour in, you get to bake in it, do all these really great things. Brother hold and oh, you pour. Go. There we go, tag team in, I like it. There you Some go. Muscle in there, right? Yes. Looks so good, guys. Can mix this all up? We're actually gonna pour it right over top of it, Perfect. yep. Yes, awesome, thanks, Mom. Looks great. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, that spread, spread that, that looks good. Yep. You're gonna wanna just, just spread, spread it lightly. Up. There you go, yeah. right? Just like that. Like that looks painting. great. Yep, like you're painting. Well, <laughs> it's a great way to say it. <laughs> Not exactly painting. Oh. <laughs> spreading peanut butter over peanut butter. Spreading peanut butter. butter. That's sure. fantastic. Because it's, because paint ain't food. It ain't food. It ain't food. It ain't food. It ain't food. Now, brother, do you want to take a little bit of your parsley and just drizzle it right on top? Oh, fancy. I like it a little bit more. Looks great. Now, guys, if you don't love parsley, you don't have to put parsley on. That looks fantastic. We can put that baby right into the oven. Reminder to make sure if you have a silicone safety to take that off and you are going to put that right into the oven. You're gonna bake this, guys, on the middle rack at 450 degrees for 16 to 20 minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna put the final touches on with the parsley that looks fantastic. Next step, we're gonna put it in the oven, preheated at 450 degrees. You're gonna put it on the middle rack and you're gonna let it cook till it gets a little bit golden brown and bubbly all over. Well guys, we are gonna put that in the oven just like they did. We wanna check out a quick video from Hills Bake right now. Kids and Summer go together at Hills Bake. Make sure to check them out. Here's a quick message from Hills Bake. At Hills Bank, we value teaching kids the importance of saving for their future.
Oh wow, look at that. Wow, a cheesy, bubbly, and has that light golden brown topping. That looks fantastic, guys. Now make sure right, the cast Easton. iron skillet is Easton. really hot. Easton's gonna do it. We're gonna drizzle that half a cup that we left out just to get that mixture on top. Oh my goodness, guys, it looks so good. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, you ready to try it? Oh yeah. All right, let's grab um, a chip. So guys, the awesome thing with this dip, you are more than welcome to dip it with whatever you like. You use a pita chip, crusty bread, um, all those great things like that. Okay, here we go. It looks hot. Ah! That is hot. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's really good. Is it good, guys? You can't go wrong with cheese. Let me try. And try. pork sausage. Okay. No. Everyone on the other well guys, we're gonna close out our June edition of Kids Gazette cooking series. Make sure to check out Kids Gazette online, digital, and in print. Check out some great activities for all ages across the board. Carol, any great last words of Freedom Festival? Most up-to-date calendar of events, freedomfestival.com. Check it out, we hope to see you. Get your button, yep, download the Deets app, and we will see you June 14th through July 4th. Awesome, well thank you Carol and the boys. As they're diving into the dip right now, they're enjoying it so much right now. We are gonna check back in in our July edition, guys. We're making some great food, all those great things. We also wanna thank our sponsors, Hills Bank and Iowa Pork Producers. We wanna thank our videographer partner, TKM Co., and also our location partner, Plum Supply, for letting us come into their beautiful kitchens. Well, guys, we're gonna check back in in our July edition of Kids Gazette Cooking Series. Keep making food craving memories.